Okay, so here's how this worked. Debbie Wasserman Schultz was at the DNC, rigged the election for Hillary Clinton, right? Put her thumb on the scale for Hillary. She leaves. Hillary hires her. Right? That's how this works. And she's right now, Hillary right now is trying to consolidate the party around, around herself, right? And she wants Bernie Sanders to jump on board. Chuck Todd over at NBC News, he says, oh, my God, this is insane. This is really not particularly smart. Well, very interesting decision, though, by the Clinton campaign to essentially employ her, because then that is only going to make some Sanders people go, aha, this is her. She owes Debbie something. And that's why they, it's an interesting decision. It may only feed some conspiracy theories anyway. OK, yeah, you think you think maybe because that's true, because it was Debbie's a loyal gal and she's running the DNC and she's ensuring that I take the crown. First of all, it's, it is pretty amazing that Hillary felt the necessity to use the DNC to cram herself down over, over Bernie Sanders. I mean, Bernie Sanders is a 74-year-old nutbag socialist, and she still can't put him away. Right? She has to do Watergate-style stuff where she's using the DNC to target her political opposition. It's pretty incredible. Now, here's the best. We're, we're get- well, we haven't gotten to the best part, gang. Really, like, it's so good. Okay, so Hillary Clinton. Hillary Clinton is on 60 Minutes, and she's asked about this email scandal, about the DNC email scandal. Now, understand... 60 Minutes, notice this little icon in the corner. It says 60 Minutes Overtime. So on 60 Minutes, they're asked a bunch of questions. She's sitting next to Tim Kaine, her boring vanilla vice presidential pick. You can't separate Tim Tim Kaine from legitimately another white man above the age of 50 walking around in America. And they're sitting together talking, and they don't make any news. There's only one piece of news, what she has to say about the email scandal, right? 60 Minutes slices it out and puts it online. Right? They don't broadcast it. They put it 60 minutes over time. So they put it on their website because Scott Pelley and CBS News are a disgrace. So here's Scott Pelley asking Hillary Clinton about the email scandal from the DNC. And they seem to have their thumb on the scale for you. They seem to be working against Bernie Sanders, their fellow Democrat. Again, I don't know anything. I don't know anything about uh, about these uh, emails. I haven't followed it. But I'm very proud of the campaign that I ran. And I'm very proud of the campaign right. that Senator Sanders yeah. ran. In your view, any effort in the DNC to favor one candidate or another would have been improper? Again, I don't have, I don't have any information about this. And so I can't answer specifically. We ran our campaign. We ran hard. We worked to have as many uh, successes as possible. I'm very proud that we got more votes than anybody else running, including Donald Trump. Uh, And I am very uh, grateful uh, for the campaign that Senator Sanders ran because we ran a campaign based on issues, not insults. So I can't speak to what people who were not working for me, um, who were uh, but, saying but, whatever they were saying. Okay, we can stop there. I can't but, speak but, to that. I can but, only speak to my campaign. But they are working for you now, right? <laughs> Debbie Wasserman Schultz is working for you, old corrupt lady. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> really? Really? Okay, so I love that. I love he asks her. He asks her straight out, would it be corrupt, maybe, if you were to if you were to do this routine? If, 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 if there was a thumb on the scale, would that be corrupt? And she goes, I don't know anything about corrupt. I don't know anything about the DNC. I don't know. What are you speaking of? Who am I? Why am I here? Where did I get this pantsuit? Did I get this pantsuit from Violet Beauregard? Where is it from? So it's, it's just amazing. Okay, so here's the punchline. So all of this happens. Now Bernie Sanders is in the world's most awkward position. Right? Bernie Sanders is supposed to endorse her today. He's giving a big keynote speech tonight. So he's addressing supporters before the big keynote speech tonight. And Bernie Sanders doesn't have it in him to do the Ted Cruz routine. He's not going to get up there and not endorse Hillary Clinton. So he tries it out this morning, the endo- and he's already endorsed her, the endorsement of Hillary Clinton. And it goes extremely poorly. This is clip 26. This just happened, like literally a few minutes ago. And we have got to elect Hillary Clinton and Tim Kaine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love it so. Uh, and he's just standing there with his arm up in the air, doesn't know what to do. He doesn't know where he is. He's just, I do not know why I am here or why I'm endorsing this old, terrible woman, 
But since I must do that, and I, I like the beach ball in the front. Like they're just, it's just a party for the Bernie bros. They're just beating around the beach ball and booing him when he says endorse Hillary Clinton. Oh, spectacular, spectacular stuff. So it's, this is the beauty. Okay, so the Democratic Party is falling apart. So right now in the polls, Donald Trump is now ahead. He's jumped into a lead in most of the polls. There have been like four polls since the convention. On average, he's up about three points. He actually had a significant bump. And we'll talk about that, the, the bump in a little while because it really does speak to both Hillary and Trump. But it's, it is amazing that one of, one of the reasons that Hillary Clinton is falling apart is because she's so wildly incompetent. Everyone hates her. She's so corrupt. And it would just be, wouldn't it just be poetic justice if she set up this private email server to protect herself from public scrutiny and then the Russians hacked it and then the Russians dumped all of her deleted emails on the public two weeks before the election? Wouldn't that just be, deli for, forget about Trump versus Hillary for a second, just in terms of Hillary, wouldn't it be amazing, delicious, wonderful, poetic justice? And wouldn't it be just the custard pie of poetic justice if that were to happen? Oh, it would be so glorious. In, in every way, it would be just fantastic.